Hi guys, it's Rain, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 65 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to spam yourself. Okay, as you attempt it, let's just dive right in. So x, the loss, is uniform distribution on 0 to 15,000 or 1,500. But then the y, the payment, is a lot um model has a deductible of 250 so before 250 the expected payment the expected buy value is going to be zero because deductible means the customer has to pay something before the insurance company starts paying it but after 250 the, the um the payment is going to be whatever the loss is minus the deductible which is 250 and as always we know that standard deviation is equal to the square root of variance where variance formula of y is equal to the expected value of y squared, the second moment, minus the first moment squared. So let's just dive right in. I mean, we have all the information we need. Oh, we do know the probability distribution function for y is equal to 1 over b minus a, where b is the upper limit of this. So that's going to be over 1 over 1,500. Cool, cool, cool. So expect the value of y is equal to going from 0 to 250 is just going to be 0 and from 250 to 1500 the x of the value is going to be x minus 250 times the probability distribution function which is 1 over 1500 dx so then when you take the integral of this you get um, 3000 over x minus 250 squared going from 250 to 1500 the lower limit just gives you 0 right because 250 minus 250 is just 0 so that you just get this is equal to 1250 squared divided by 3000 which is approximately equal to 520.833 all right second moment e y squared this is equal to integrate same thing here 0 to 250 is going to give you 0 from 250 to 1500, the value is going to be x minus 250 squared, right? Because it's squared. 1 over probability function dx. Taking the antiderivative, you get x minus 250 cubed over 4500, integrating from 250 to 1500. Again, the lower limit just gives you 0, so you get this is equal to 1250 cubed over 4500, zero, zero, which is approximately equal to 434027.77. Okay, and then finally, plugging it back in our formula, it's going to be our second moment, oh, 27.778 minus the first moment, 520.833 squared, which is equal to 162760.4167. And we know that standard deviation is just equal to the square root of variance. So this is equal to square root of 162760.4167, which is approximately equal to 403.43, which is our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.